Welcome to my tutorial on how to create a multiplayer level using the Far Cry 2 editor. The editor that comes with Far Cry 2 is a good starting point for gamers that want to make their own um, multiplayer levels because it is very simple and easy to use. Now to start I'm going to show you each of the tools that you're going to be using um, and what each tool does. The first tool that I'm going to introduce you to is the terrain bump tool and basically this tool allows you to bump up the terrain and the thing that I like using it for is mountains because what you could do basically you can bump up the terrain of where you want the mountains to be then later on you can use a texture of like a rock and you can paint it over the bump terrain and it will look good. Now with each of these tools you have the option to change the settings. Now for terrain bump it gives us the option of using a square brush which simply changes the brush into a square shape. Uh, we can change the radius so this is basically change, changes um, how much um, area the tool covers. Uh, the harness and um, basically if you turn the harness all the way up basically it only does that area but if you have the harness at a lower certain then it's not as much basically so it, it doesn't focus on a huge area basically it, it, you can change which area it comes out from basically uh, with the distortion um, it basically it changes how distorted the ground is when it is bumped up so let me just show you so there isn't much um, distortion because it isn't that high but if I turn this in all the way up then that you, you, you can tell that there is a slight difference but you won't be able to notice it that much and also you can change the strength of the bump um, basically this changes how strong the tool is for example if it's at the lowest setting nothing happens obviously but if you turn it slightly up then it goes slowly and it's not as much but if you turn it all the way up then it will, will go much faster now I'm going to show you the terrain flatten tool and as you can see when I use it on terrain, it flattens the terrain of where selected but also you can change the height of how high you want it to be flattened so for example as you can like as, as, you, as you saw there I turned this in quite high and it went quite high and yeah that is what this tool does now I'm going to show you the terrain smooth tool and this is used to smooth out different areas of terrain so let me quickly show you so as you can see this area is pretty uh, rough and it's quite sharp but if I use the terrain smooth tool on it um, it smoothens it out so for any like sharp corners this is perfect now I'm going to show you the terrain ramp tool and uh, basically um, what this allows you to do is basically create ramps so as you can see I selected a point where I want the ramp to start and when I click here it creates a ramp from there to there let me quickly show you that again so if I start here and I click down here it, as you can see it has created a ramp and I'm going to show you the terrain noise tool and this basically it allows you to add noise to the terrain so and if you don't know what that means let me quickly demonstrate so when I select a bit of terrain uh, when I use it on there you know it it slightly raises it and you can change some of the settings to get the type of noise that you want but you can change the type of noise that you can get as well so at the moment it's set on raise only so it's only going to raise the terrain slightly but if you choose lower only it as you can see it lowers the terrain and you can select how much you want it to raise or lower but or you can use raise and lower and it basically uses both of them it 
uh, what it does is it first it lowers then it raises and basically it keeps going back and forth between them two so yeah I'm now going to show you the terrain erosion tool and basically this tool allows you to apply erosion to terrain um, and as you basically when I use it when I apply it to uh, some, ter some terrain the terrain gets deformed and you can change the settings to get the effect that you would like from this from this tool. Uh, for example, if we change the deformation, it becomes more deformed. Uh, if you turn it down, it's not as deformed. Uh, you can change the hardness, and yeah, this tool is very good. Um, if you want to apply age to terrain, for, for example, with mountains, you can apply it there, and you can apply how m however much you want to get the effect that you want. The next tool I'm going to show you is the texture painter tool. Um, this tool allows you to apply textures to different uh, ter surfaces basically. So it, to simply do this, click on an empty texture, cl click assign and choose the texture you want. I want to use jungle mountain rock. Uh, simply apply it and it gets painted on to the surface that I am painting on. Now first I'm going to show you the object tool. Now this is the main tool that you are going to be using in your map because this allows you to add objects onto your map. So for example if I wanted to add a building I would simply go into the buildings folder, choose what kind of building so I want a fishing building and I will simply click on it and then when I move on to the actual map it allows me to place it down and I simply left click and the building is now in the map and this can be a this is the same for every object that you use um, uh, the objects tool for so for example if I want to add some vehicles um, I will simply just do the same thing and tear the vehicle and yeah the next tool I'm going to show you is the collection system and basically this allows you to add collections of objects uh, very fast um, to your map so simply you click on an empty uh, collection here and you choose what collection of objects you want so I want jungle light and I simply paint over where I want the objects to go and they will go and also you can change the settings for example so if I want a wider area to be painted um, or yeah uh, with objects I will simply change the radius if I want to change the hardness and I can um, I can, I can also change the dis distortion so um, and yeah this is the collection system the final tool in the objects category I'm going to show you is the playable zone and now let me quickly zoom out for you now as you can see it shows an area and basically this is the playable area within the map so with this you can simply change it by hitting a point and moving it and so basically um, it allows you to change which sorry what area the players can play in um, and this is very important because um, if you have a very small map uh, for example if it's if your maps only in this area then you're gonna have to change the playable zone to that area otherwise players will go outside of the map